I'm here. Oh, yes. Okay. Ready whenever you are, gentlemen. I just have to remember my word. Nu är du sen, Anders. Nu är jag sen. Det här är fan Star Fox, va? Det är det. Det är 2015 alltså, all right. This is a game where you use a control stick, like the one you find on a plane. 
Then you fly a real plane. You need to pull back on the control stick to fly up, right? Similarly, you can use the gyro on the gamepad to look all around and feel really immersed in the game. We'd like people to play as if they're flying a real plane. It's really exciting. two screens. We experimented with gameplay with ideas before this iteration of Star Fox. There were two screens that each serves a specific purpose. For example, we've tested using one screen for a more cinematic view and the other for gameplay. The Wii U gamepad has a gyro and it's a big reason we decided to make this game. It's a cop. You can aim by moving the gamepad around. In the other Star Fox games, you play by controlling your plane in third person on one screen. This time, the game world is shown on the TV and you can focus in to aim on the gamepad. By using two screens, you can see yourself flying in third person on the TV while shooting down at the enemies below you from the cockpit view on the gamepad. You can be really immersed in the experience, so that's something I hope people can check out. On the Nintendo 64 system, you have to use a lot of buttons. But now, with the Wii U gamepad, you can use two sticks to do things like speed up and flip around. Ja, nu är bilden rätt. Uh, ljudet, ljudet, ljudet. Ja, vi hörs. Det är bara att streamljudet går inte ut. Vänta, vad hörs det? gameplay. With it, you can perform a lot of tasks as Fox. You can also play different stages with other vehicles too. Yeah, so I oh, have fun trying out courses with different vehicles, even okay. after you clear the game. We've rebuilt the games and ideas from the past. That's tricked to do, but everything is going to be stronger. So we can, like, for one second, reroute everything. Aha. Yeah, it's not fair. Okay. So we're going to have to do the stream in this case. We're going to have to cheat it. Yeah. The subtitle zero was taken from how the kanji character looks in calligraphy. Star Fox is based off of the Japanese culture that inspired me, so I wanted people around the world to see this cool kanji character in the logo. Ja, det behöver jag. Jag tror det, va? Jag orkar inte ens tänka på att jag är förbannad på att det inte funkar. Jag borde vara mer taggad på Star Fox. Jag gillar det. Hej, och välkommen till Nintendos digital event för E3 2015. Jag är Reggie Fisame, president av Nintendo of America. Hej. We began today having a little fun imagining ourselves as characters in the Star Fox universe. But that opening was more than just fun. It also represents a theme you're going to encounter consistently throughout Nintendo's experience for E3. That theme is transformation. Recently, Mr. Iwata has made several announcements on how Nintendo itself is being transformed with expansion to universal theme parks, mobile devices, and our new dedicated game platform, codenamed NX, which we'll tell you more about in 2016. <laughs> Today, our purpose is more immediate, to focus on the transformations you'll be enjoying right inside your Nintendo gameplay in the coming months. If there's a secret to the longevity of Nintendo franchises, it is transformation. We never let them stand still. There always has to be something new, something compelling. And that even applies to the game Super Mario Brothers, which is celebrating its 30th anniversary in 2015. To say he's been transformed over the years is obvious. But along the way, 
He's also transformed gaming from establishing the platforming genre on the NES to the 3D world of Super Mario 64. Later this year, Super Mario Maker will take the next step by turning the essence of game creation over to you, our fans. Now, players will become creators as you build your own Mario levels that can be shared globally with friends. And who knows, maybe even I'll be playing and of course beating your latest creation. Finally, nothing in our history has transformed our franchises quite like Amiibo. And as you'll find out this week, there are more new Amiibo on the way. Is there a treehouse in the town's looting for that one? Right? In fact, if I a treehouse. Right treehouse are there as about to show up in a The poor go in a tiden and they are there. Eh, they're on these little guy here in a tiden. I firm up. Well, De har ju utanaserat på vissa ställen vad de ska prata om och när. The team put me right to work. So I'm pleased to be here with Karthik Bala from the Vicarious Vision Studio at Activision and Karthik, we've got some great news to share. Yeah, so you know the hallmark of the Skylanders franchise has always been deliver brand new innovation and the highest quality game experience. For the first time we're bringing a whole new toy category to life, bringing vehicles to life this year with our new game Skylander Superchargers and really blending it to this epic vehicle adventure. But there's more to it, right? We've got two unexpected guest stars. So introducing turbocharged Donkey Kong and his vehicle, the Barrel Blaster. We also have Bowser. This is Hammer Slam Bowser and his vehicle, the Clown Cruiser. Bowser is always my favorite. I don't know why people say that I look like Bowser and at times act like Bowser. So daddy, but I'm able to use you have the, the various mm -hmm. vehicles. What happens? So they have complete move sets and upgrade trees of, um, of powers and abilities, some of which are natural, things that you would expect, like Donkey Kong throwing barrels and Bowser slamming down his hammer, but also really unexpected moves that harken back to elements of lore within the 30 years of history of these characters. What else can, uh, can these figures do? If you put the figure on a Skylander's portal, they act as a Skylander, but you can twist the base and switch it to Amiibo, and it can be used as an Amiibo in another Nintendo game. So again, these characters, these vehicles, only playable on Nintendo. So as you go through this collaboration with Nintendo, a company that is very protective of its franchises, that always likes to have total control, what was that like in terms of working with us to bring these fabulous experiences to life? For such big like Nintendo fanboys, and you know, I think we may have been a little too cautious at first. We wanted to have a form of Bowser where he became really big. Yes, okay, he's streaming. Talk to that little And uh, and this is when the Nintendo team said, no, 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 do something different. You know, something new. And we created Magma Bowser. Right. You know, he's never been seen. Hey, I'll work on it. His 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 fire breath. But the work ain't just to be in Mario Universe. So I'm like, but now I'm talking Mario. I'm talking Mario Maker. Yeah, it's it's like yeah. Right, and so like dry bones, and they said, "Well, oh, here's all the material for dry bones," and it was just, you know, building on top of that. And uh, Good, we well, just didn't, you know, we didn't think that we were going to get away with Robert. all of this stuff. <laughs> Karthik, thank you so much for sharing this information. Is older. And throughout the entire mm, week, yeah. we're going to be sharing more and more information. You and your team are going to grace us at Nintendo Treehouse Live, and there's going to be a lot more information. Dog and after that, after Microsoft, Fantastic. UB, EA, and so on. What are what are they? I wonder what's next. So I hell of a constant. Yeah, but they hell it. They hell it constant. Okay. Det verkar ju vara det va? Det 
bara med tre, så det är three swords. Men som sagt, vad, vad tar du med dig mest? Från vår dag. Alltså, så nu vad de gjorde. Mm. Det var ju det var ju en så här fanservice åt helvete ja. i spelen och tog fram. Men när, man, men när man tänker efter vad det egentligen är så... Det är inte lika bra när jag tänker på det dagen efter som det var igår. Nej, just för att det var sån överraskning igår. Mm. Jag sa det till Peter innan jag skulle hemma att det enda av de tre spelarna jag garanterat kommer att spela av The Last Guardian, Shenmue 3 och Final Fantasy 7. Det är Final Fantasy 7. Varför skulle du inte spela The Last Guardian? Jo, det är sant. Jag vet inte. Jag är orolig för min, min mentala hälsa i det. För att du vet att eventuellt så kommer han dö. Ja. Men vad fan. Det är så givet från början så ja, det måste sig. Fair enough. Sen så tycker inte jag... Shadow of the Colossus var en helt fantastisk upplevelse för mig. Mm, jag klickar aldrig med Ico. Trots att äh. hela br- äh, spelresistensbranschen hyllade. Mm. Inte jag. Nej, jag, jag har försökt. Men äh, nej. Hello, I'm Aonuma, the producer of Zelda. Today I would like to talk about The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes, the latest Nintendo 3DS Zelda game. Men, um, I have the game's director. Jag Shikata, har inte att spela Shenmue. Hello. Ett och två. Det har det. Innan tre Det är ju långt kvar alltså. Det är fan vad mycket sådana där grejer. Så man skulle ha spelat alla Deus 6. Man skulle ha spelat alla Fallout. Man skulle ha spelat alla Shenmue. Innan nya delarna kom. This time. I wanted players to Men alltså, man skulle haft en podcast där man kunde liksom göra någonting kring det. Ja, märkligt att vi har det då. <laughs> märkligt. Nej, jag har velat spela Shenmue jätte, jätte, jättelänge, men okay. samtidigt så har jag vetat om att det bara slutar mitt i. Ja. Jag, skulle, jag känner att det hade nog varit bara frustrerande, så att jag har liksom bara många jävla gånger så kanske det händer mm. att det går att det slutar färs. Och nu är det ju klart att nu, nu händer det mm. Ja, det är backade sig på typ fem timmar. Ja, det så sjukt. Gladast är nog jag för South Park ändå. Varför att jag trodde verkligen inte att vi skulle få se en uppfattare på det. Jag trodde det var en one-off. Det, ja, det trodde jag med. Och jag, tror, jag, jag, jag är också så här. Ja, det är en uppföljare. Det kommer ju vara samma spel. Men, men det var ju bra första gången. Ja. Men... Jag vet inte. Okay. Det är klart att jag kommer att spela det och jag kommer att tycka att det är kul, men jag vet inte om det är så pepp ändå. Nej. Doom såg det så här. Det var ju föregående. Mm. Det såg ut så, så jävla fort. Och så Recore tyckte jag såg bara allting. Så det minns med... Det såg ju inte så mycket vad det var. Nej, utan det är namnen bakom. Man säljer det. Och jag tyckte också Horizon såg fan komplikt ut. Shadow of the Colossus go Robo Dinosaur. Mm. I... I... Uh, mm. Där är universet. Vad fan heter det? Gorilla Games. Vi vet, att, vi vet ju att de kan göra bra spel. Ja. Och you collect items to create new outfits with new abilities. By buying and equipping these different clothes, your abilities change. Like so the same courses will offer different experiences depending on what you wear. Ja. Men jag såg det. Jag är så trött jag bara frossar i mig du vet allting här just nu. Ja, det är bra. Jag känner att people in online multiplayer. Jag känner när jag sa det Peter idag att det känns att jag har i att jag har hållit igång sen i fredags. Först var jag faktiskt konsert och sen drack jag ganska mycket lördags, drack jag söndags, drack jag igår. Ja. Mm. Det känns. Jag behöver vila sig efter det här sen. Jag är lite trasig. Min kropp är, lo- min kropp är lockad i gymmet. Jag orkar inte åka till gymmet. Also for Nintendo 3DS, we have another new game. Okay. Last year we had the Wii U version of Hyrule Warriors. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We are now developing a 3DS version. De utannonserade Heavy Rain och Beyond Two Souls till PS4 idag. 
It will include all the DLC Fan, Ja, jag vill, jag vill dra, gå för platten när jag blir omskull så också. Så jag är nu, jag som inte har en PS3. Also adding additional characters and stages from the Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker to expand the gameplay. Jag har kollat på Final Fantasy VII eh, trailern ett par gånger nu faktiskt. Mm. Jävligt mm. mm. Jag är rädd att de kommer gå för mörkt så att de typ, kommer tappa sin goofiness. Really tror de tror de kommer spela ner goofiness delen. Det var inte Square för det. Enix som gjorde det där heller. Va? De bara gav ut det. Det var någon annan jag blev utvecklad tror jag. Och det tror jag är bra. Jag tror nästan. The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes on Nintendo 3DS. Ska Team Ninja göra ett Zelda? Nej men de är ju... Ja, det har, ja, 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 det gjorde de ju redan, ja. Det är ju 3DS-versionen. Hyrule Warriors heter det. Gud, ja. jag, huvudet är helt... Ja, det är, det är, det är långsamt idag alltså. <gasps> Mer grov. Konstig mitt andra humor. <laughs> Detroit Prime till 3DS. Federation Force. Oj. Vad skulle du helst vilja se från Nintendo då? Metroid för helvete. <laughs> Inte det här. Ja, det var de här de höll på med i World Championship. Mm-hmm. Last Ball var andra grejerna man tror jag. Jag vet att Fire Emblem är bra. Vet du det? Ja. Hur vet du det? Jag har ju så många som jag känner som älskar dem. Okay. Jag vet att spelsättet skulle jag gilla. Jag får ju fortsätta ge spel om och om och om, om igen. Mm. Atlas, vad är det då då? Ja, de spel.
類の天敵に対抗し得るものそれがミラージュマスターよ今の翼の歌声ならきっと届くだから歌うんだ翼行こう我が友一キロオリブ翼Vad är det vi tittar på? Jag har ingen aning. Jag har ingen aning. Jag har ingen aning. Jag önskar att Peter var här så han kunde flippa sin skit. Han kunde kasta hatten. Nu räcker det inte. För helvete. One of these fucking games. Nu tycker de att du gnäller i soffan. Ja. Men jag vill inte se det här. Saga i historia. Nu är det ju inte då. Ja. Det vet, jag, det vet jag, men de heter, alltså de som lämnade Square efter, efter Senno Gears så gjorde Senno Saga och numera Senno Cross och de här grejerna. Senno Cross, gud vad jag tänker. Det är också monolith. Jag fick, det där spelet finns ju redan, känner jag. Nej, Eller? men inte X. X är det nya. Okay. Det gamla var det som fanns till... Du vet, ett av de här till Wii. Ja. Ah. Och det finns, det finns det också till Wii U. Där. Från något 3 d kanske, jag vet inte. Vi på nu. Animal Crossing igen. Ja. På 3DS igen. Och Animal Crossing släpps på konsol så hade jag nog varit lite intresserad av så här. Hoppa in emellan spelarnas spel. Happy Home Designer dessutom. World Premiere, nu! Nu kommer Mario. Eller med Animal Crossing. Titta. You ask and shall receive. Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. Men vad fan! Men jag var drygflugar. Han har varit här hela helgen. 
Visst var han där? Mm. Är vi säkra på att det är en han? Jag har ingen aning. Nej. Amiibo goes more party med Animal Crossing. Så två nya Animal Crossing spel man drog. Mm. Det är dags för ett garnspel till nu också. Alltså det här har ju typ redan släppts. Jag heter Yumi Watanabe och jag jobbar i software planning och development department på Nintendo. Och jag är en koordinator. Jag jobbar med developers i att göra Nintendo games. Jag har jobbat på Kirby's Epic Yarn med den samma developer. And I was in charge of designing Yoshi's Woolly World with Tezuka-san. Working with Tezuka-san is very inspirational. He is the leader of this project. At the same time, he has the perspectives of the player. So he has both elements, the leader and the player. <laughs> At first, I decided to make some yarn Yoshi just for fun, because um, I'm not a programmer or an artist, so I wasn't able to make it. Var ett nytt IP från varje presskonferens. Utan att testa. Was really really working hard. So Man hade inte kallat deras iOS spel för nytt IP. Nej, det är det inte. Jag menar att Microsoft hade ju Recore bland annat. EA hade ju det där svenska spel. Ja, det var EA som hade gångspel. Ubi hade ju slåss med svärd i spelet. Och Sony hade ju... Ja, precis. Sony hade ju Horizon. Det är ganska bra skörd. Det finns nog mer än man... Alltså jag har svårt att rabbla upp konferensen i huvudet nu, men jag tror det fanns ännu mer. Microsoft tror jag hade fler än ett nytt IP. Yoshi himself is made of yarn. The shape of his body transforms into different shapes. So he turns into like a propeller when you jump and he turns into a mallet when he does the ground pound. But also the world itself is in yarn and fabrics and lots of textiles. We have places in the game where you can unravel and you can also knit platforms. And in this game, the enemies are made of yarn as well. So when Yoshi swallows them, they turn into little yarn balls instead of eggs. Well, most of all, we want the game to be fun. Yoshi's Woolly World provides plenty of challenge if you try to go for 100% completion. But also we wanted to have lots and lots of people enjoy the game and those lots of people have different expectations on the difficulty of the game. And for us, um, what's so special about Yoshi games is that the difficulty level is all up to the player because if you just want to have fun, you can just run through the levels. If you think you're a more advanced player, you can set the challenge a little higher by collecting lots of items and that provides plenty of challenge in this game. We are very confident that the game provides both the challenge and the fun. Nintendo har alltid varit bra på det. Mm. Jag kan inte komma på ett av Nintendo-spel som har svårighetsgrad i sig. Vad är det? Vad är det som har svårighetsgrad? Ja, där du kan välja hard, medium, easy. Ja, det är ju inte ett Nintendo-spel, men det är bara en att tänka på. Mm. Ja, men jag tänker också first party. Ja. And if you use it in Yoshi's Woolly World, then Nej, Yoshi's design turns into that Amiibo mm. character. So for example, if you have a Mario Amiibo, you can get a Mario Yoshi. 
which is a Yoshi in Mario pattern, in Mario design. <laughs> so, so if you have an amiibo at home, maybe you can have fun trying out different characters. In this game, when we turned Pucci into Mario... I came to be a little dumb in the head of the jävla whistle in the background. So that's why we decided to have him again in this game. He barks when there is an oh. important item around you. So he's a quite useful companion to have. Even after you clear the level, it's really fun to go back, revisit that level, because there's always something that you missed out on. You always find something new. It would be great if you can collect all the items in one go, but that is quite challenging. So um, I hope people can oh, enjoy say playing Star the same level over and over again. Fast det hade det väl inte riktigt på samma sätt som att det fanns flera vägar som i sin tur var mm. easy, medium och hard. Mm. Men det var inte så att du kunde välja i början. Jag tror inte i alla fall. Så säger de att Metroid Prime hade det också. Nej. Jo, kan inte. Har det finns inte något expert mode i det? Det är ju inte first party samtidigt. Nej, men det är andra party. Det är fortfarande liksom deras egna IP och sånt där. Jag ska ha Fire Emblem och Emblem också, men det är ju inte i samma fall. Mm. Yokai Watch är ju förrålstort i Japan. Okay. Det förväntas ju bli nästa Pokémon. Mm -hmm. Är det samma koncept som Pokémon? Typ samma koncept. Så Nintendo har ju köpt upp rättigheterna för. Eller liksom, de har ju. Yokai Watch släppte sig till DS. Mm. Och det har ju blivit ett stort hus i Japan. Och nu sen tog Nintendo över. Lanseringen av det för resten av världen. Okej. Okay. Paper Mario and, Lu and Luigi, I saw. Papercraft Mario. Papercraft Mario. Det här var faktiskt ganska kul på Nintendo Wii. Mm. Det var kul redan på Nintendo 64. Och Gamecube släpptes på också, va? Ja, jag tror Tennis, som sagt. Tennis generellt, det är jävligt kul, alltså. together for 30 years now. If there's three ideas presented to both of us, we pick the same one. 
As the years went on, and we made more and more side-scrolling games, we had to create a more advanced tool to design them with. This became the basis of Super Mario Maker. The tool got so good that the more we worked with it, the more we realized we could also turn it into something everyone could enjoy. With Super Mario Maker, anytime you make an edit, you can see the results right away. This instant feedback can really help your imagination run wild. Back in the day, we had to create everything by hand. To design courses, we would actually draw them one at a time onto these sheets of graph paper. We'd then hand our drawings to the programmers, who would code them into a build. While digging up these old documents, we found this. It's very precious. When we first thought of the idea of Super Mario Brothers, we had a concept of land, air, and sea. See this old sketch of Mario throwing fireballs from a moving cloud? You can now do that in Super Mario Maker. You can even control where the cloud flies. In the old days, when we needed to fix or change part of the course, it would get really messy if we tried to edit the original drawing. So we'd put this see-through paper on top to make edits. A lot of things might look familiar, but you can combine various elements from the different games to create entirely new stuff. Like stacking different enemies on top of each other to mm -hmm. make a huge tower, and then putting a bullet bill on top. Smartaste visningen någonsin av det också var har i finalen. Verkligen. You can even put things we've never placed underwater. Right, there are some enemies that don't normally appear underwater, <laughs> like Goombas. When you put one underwater in Super Mario Maker, it will swim like a small shrimp. Mario can even take on the appearance of other characters. Tap a compatible amiibo, like Wii Fit Trainer, and Mario can turn into Wii Fit Trainer when he gets a mystery mushroom. It's called Costume Mario. We have a lot of these planned. To celebrate Super Mario's 30th anniversary, we're releasing an 8-bit amiibo. When you use it, your Mario in-game is going to appear a bit bigger. The amiibo itself is pretty big too, to reflect the effect in the game. There's also a Super Mario Maker booklet. The booklet has a lot of sample courses. It's really fun just looking at them, as if this is what would happen if you design the world of Mario in real life. Most times, I start by making a course I want to play. Which is usually like a 2-1 or 2-2. Once that's done, we try to make it a little easier. So we move on to making 1-1. It's always like that. I may come across as a mean person by saying this, but in 1-1, there's a Goomba, which is clearly an enemy. But there's also a Super Mushroom, and you might run when you first see it. You run, but there's a block above, so you can't run. So if you jump, the ceiling is low, so you usually hit it. But when you do, you grow big. It's a surprise. There are stairs, but there are gaps. But the first gap has a floor. And the second one is the one you want to avoid because it's bottom. Han är så nöjd också. Shaken on the sense. You put a lot of thought into those types of things. When playing a Mario game for the first time, it's a challenge to run and jump at the same time. New players usually fall into the first pit because they can't make the jump. But they learn from it. They usually fall into it because they can't make it. It's like game design training software. Try it if you want to get into game design. With enough practice, anyone can become a good course designer. And that's going to slip us. Hmm. Ah, titta. Titta. Earlier I said that Nintendo's experience for E3 is all about transformation. 
And while we've given you a sneak peek of some of our games coming later in 2015, there's still much more to share. Next, Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3 begins. We'll kick off with Mr. Miyamoto and fellow developers flying through Star Fox Zero. And if you can't wait to get your hands on Super Mario Maker, the opportunity is right in front it's of you. Awesome. On Wednesday from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. and Saturday from noon until 5 p.m. local time, they you can walk into so. any of more than 100 Best Buy stores in the U.S. and Canada and experience the game for yourself firsthand. You can find the details of all of our activities this week at e3.nintendo.com. To close, as anyone transforms, be it a person or a company, it's good to reflect on where you've been to help guide where you go next. Over the past 30 years, more than a billion people around the world have played a Nintendo game. And most of them have played as gaming's biggest star, Mario. Really? From the music, to the costumes, to the characters, Super Mario isn't just Nintendo's mascot. There's a little piece of him and certainly memories of his adventures inside all of us. Snacka om tredje hjulet, den där killen. Now it's your turn. Visit LetSuperMario.com and help us celebrate his 30th anniversary by submitting your own Super Mario video. And do it for a good cause, with Nintendo making a donation to the nonprofit group Operation Smile. Visit our site for details. Let's have some fun, let's support a great cause, and let's Super Mario. <laughs>
for the Hello everyone, I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. Everyone. Thank you for watching Nintendo Day 3 event. Good morning, Mike. Are you here with me from Nintendo? Yes. 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 Ja, Star Fox är vi också i fjol. Men det är jag också sugen på. Men, mm. Fast du visste inte att det var Star Fox du såg, eller hur fan var det? Jo, faktiskt. De visade inte upp till sin presentation, men det spelades på golvet sen, tror jag. Ja, men det är det. Ja, men det är det. And as we showed at E3 last year, we have many gamepad games for Wii U that we introduced there that are continuing in development. And we're still working on those. And so we've introduced games like that use Amiibo and games like Splatoon, and we've shown Star Fox for this year, and we've got more coming. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, Aonuma-san is not here at E3, and that's because he is back at Nintendo, hard at work on his next game, and as soon as the show is over, I'm going to be going back to help him out with it as well. <laughs> and so now what we're going to do is jump right into the gameplay straight from Star Fox Zero, but I think maybe rather than having me play it, we should have our Nintendo Treehouse Live staff here play it, because uh, they're probably going to be a lot better than I am. <laughs> but uh, after they're done, I'm going to come right back because there's one more thing that I want to talk about. And, uh, and so I think we'll take a look at that and then just kick off with Nintendo Treehouse Live. See you soon. See you soon. See you soon. Uh, now it's time. Only D3 do they let us out of the treehouse to, uh, you know, play these games. So we're going to hop right into Star Fox Zero for you guys and do some, uh, we're going to fire up the R-Wing and have her. 